All right, after you complete the lessons, they're going to show up in your workspace. So when you log into Tinkercad, this is your main page. It's called your dashboard. And um, so your lessons that you've completed will be here. And that's how you'll be able to share what you have completed with me. And then you can create a new design. So once you click on this button here, it's going to take you to your work plane. And it's going to automatically come up with a fun name for your project. So mine came up with Daring S. Boo Bojo. Um, and so you've got this work plane and you can drag stuff over and you can create, uh, you know, different things on your workplace. And, and um, then once you're finished, if you go back to the Tinkercad main page here, your dashboard, you just click on the colorful square in the corner and it'll bring you back to your dashboard and your projects will be right here. And it's got this name. When you click on settings, you can duplicate it. You can delete it. You can click on properties and you can change the name. So if it had something meaningful, such as um, your um, pen holder or your uh, 90 degree angle mount or your ear saver or whatever you're going to call it, you could just change it. So it's going to come up with a fun name for you. And then you can add in your description um, in your description. If you have taken someone else's file and imported it, uh, this would be an excellent place for you to uh, give attribution to them. Notice down here it says attribution, share alike. So if you had taken it from um, someone else, you can you can still share alike, but um, you want to make sure that you add in your attribution up here. So for example, I think I I showed you in a different video, Sarah Key or something like that. I would put that in there and I would put a link to where, where I got that from. And then I'm going to um, save my changes. Now, if you keep your project private, I'm not going to be able to see it. So you might want to make it public and then I will be able to see it if this is something that you want to print on the 3D printer. And again, we have a MakerBot printer and I will need an STL file. That's how I'm going to print. So then you just click Save Changes um, and then here it is. All right.